Hello everyone, it's Winona from Dairy Barn Art and welcome back. Welcome if you're new. If you like what you see, please like, subscribe and comment. Let's start today with everyday gratitude and this is a gratefulness practice, the gifts of responsibility. Write down five things you feel you have to do in the course of your day or week, such as wash dishes, pay bills or drive to work. Now write those same things with the first three words, I get to and end with when so many people cannot. And see how it feels to view your responsibilities as blessings or privileges. You know how some days you'll read something and it just hits you right at home, um, right in the heart? Well, my fingernails are a mess right now. I'm doing beets. Um, I, I, I plant a small garden a flower I have lots of flower gardens but I plant a small vegetable garden and um, I like to make beet, beet pickles Harvard beets and beet relish and I kind of do them different years like this year it's beet relish time and I planted two rows of beets this year and I have so many beets and some of them are as big as a turnip it's just unbelievable and they're nice like a lot of times they're spotty and scaly and you know, I go for his maybe chewed on them and they're just beautiful. My whole garden this year and everyone's around has just been beautiful and bountiful this year, which means, of course, you have lots of work to do. So I wasn't feeling good yesterday and I, um, I put off getting the beets out of the garden. And finally, around four in the afternoon, three or four in the afternoon, I went outside and I dug up the first row. And I brought them in and cleaned them up and um, put them in a big, huge stock pot. I, it, it filled the stock pot. I had leftovers that I couldn't even fit in there and um, cooked them. And then when they were done, I, 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 what I do is I throw them in a sink of water and run cold water over and the skins come right off. So basically you peel them then as well. And then I cleaned up and I went out and dug up the second row and did the same and I ended up with three stock pots full of beets and they're sitting in my fridge right now and I'm thinking oh man I gotta do those beets oh man I gotta do those beets I'm I'm washing all my jars right now in the dishwasher so I that's why I came up here for a few minutes but um, it's been a burden it really has and that's because of me that's because I was saying I've got to I need to say I get to I get to I get to uh, make beet relish when so many people cannot and don't have the, the opportunity the means or the money to do such things so I should be grateful for that and I used to look at that as a job I was grateful doing and I need to change my perspective and um, and not feel like it's a burden because it's a blessing. It's a blessing we're going to have food in our house this winter because of the work we've done this summer. So it's that change of a mentality. I don't know if any of you are in the same place, but that gratitude today just hit me where I needed to be hit. <laughs> anyway, this is my um, planner. I haven't worked on it for so long. I was so busy this summer, I didn't keep it up. So I have um, ordered, I bought the September kit from Nanine at Collage Type and I'm hoping to get September done before I leave on my holiday. I'll be leaving in, in about four or five days and I'll be gone till the beginning of September. So I'm hoping that I can get this done and September will be, I'll get myself back on track. So sometimes you start something and you get off track. Same with my Marguerite Miller. When I got sick in April, I got totally off track and I'm so far behind. But you know what? I dug it out the other day. I put it in my brand new project cart and I will putter away at it when I have time. doesn't mean I have to give up. It just means that I, I don't need to do it at the pace I was doing it. Um, my mom put something on my Facebook page that says if you can't give 100% one day, give 1%. 1% is better than none. And that is so true. I need to, I need to save that post. Anyway. I was watching a video, of course I was watching a video, and I think her name is Johanna, and she had a box from Taperology, and I believe maybe G. Kerr did too. Anyway, it was Johanna's video I saw first, and she, 
they put together this box and they sent it to her and you could buy it for 20% off. It was still very expensive, I have to admit to you guys. It, it was way more money than I wanted to pay. But I thought, there's some really cool stuff in there. Let's just give it a try. It's not something I'm going to do um, all the time. But um, I just thought, you know what? I'm going to go for it. I often, and for most of my life, I haven't had the money to do anything like this. So um, I thought, you know what? Do it. Do it. My mom always says you can't take your money with you. So um, anyway, this is instructions for the rub-on stickers. Cut out your desired sticker, remove the backing film, and place the sticker on your desired surface and then rub yeah these stickers can be used on any smooth surfaces i.e. plastic fabric wood metal glass among others it will not work on si surfaces such as silicone latex as well as matte surfaces they are not washable and cannot be laundered they are water resistant but not waterproof and will be damaged when soaked in excessive amounts of water and here is a code use taperology ta no taperology Taper Logi or Loggy 10 and you get 10% off your purchase. So um, they basically sell AliExpress items, but they've done the searching for you and they've been the ones that have found, oh, you know what? This isn't what I thought it was. So then you know you're getting a good product from them. So these are deco stickers. Let's take a look at these. I love butter. Oh, look at these. These are little um, butterfly frames, like photo frames. My mom has a picture of a butterfly frame similar to that in her house. I'm going to do a fairy journal, and I think these would be cute in the fairy journal. downstairs when I have a need a break for, I, when I need to sit down for a while this is cool this would be cool you could I don't know how you'd make a shaker with it but I think you could but you could put like you could put your butterflies behind here and make a tag with it oops sorry you could make a tag with it I'm gonna put that at the bottom here Sorry, I'm just throwing these to the side. I have to be fairly quick with this video. I've got to get downstairs and do my beats. I'll be right back in just a second. So I just put those back in their container. And here we've got some more of these stickers. And these ones are flowers. My fingernails, I did fail to mention it before, my fingernails are a mess because I'm doing beats. They're clean. There just need to be, I need to use some bleach water. Here you've got a mason jar. I think that's what we had before. And some beautiful roses. You know, my last journal I did got really chunky. And in the end, I was decorating the pages with these um, stickers like this. And they make great embellishments because they don't add any layers. Like, they're so thin. Oh, look at those peach colored roses beautiful here's an iris just gorgeous oh here's some pansies those look like lemons I'm, my next journal is in these colors too, so I will use these stickers. So let's put them back in there so I don't have a big mess when I'm done. I'm going to be exhausted. I think I probably have about three batches of relish to do today. But it'll get done. And then we've got, and you may wonder, like it's 12.36, why does she start so late? I start so late because I have to stand. 
and by the time I'm done standing, I can't do anything else. So I try to get almost everything else done before I start that so that I, I, I can sit down in between batches and I get my feet up. So it's kind of, I work backwards now. Instead of doing the hard job first and getting it out of the way, I tend to, you know, do the easy jobs and save the hard one to the end. Just something you do when you're in chronic pain. Anyway, mushrooms, that's cool. I've never done a mushroom journal. I might give these to my friend. Her father used to collect mushrooms. No, what am I saying? I'd order her some. I'll keep these for myself. I'll do a mushroom journal someday or a fall journal. I love the colors. I don't remember if she got, if I'm getting the same thing. I hope I'm getting the same thing that she got because there was one thing in there I really wanted and that was part of my decision to buy is because most of what all the things that I really really liked in it were sold out individually I don't remember these so I'm really gonna have to figure out how to use these if you have suggestions please let me know alcohol ink would take nice to them they would probably emboss fairly nice too but um, thinking I might have to make some kind of a pocket or a tag with them. Um, yeah, I don't think she got those. I don't know why I don't think that, but I could be wrong. Then we've got some stickers. I don't have a lot of these kind of things, so this is good. Memories are meant to be made, not forgotten joy, cherish, look on the bright side. I've been reluctant to order these from AliExpress because I wasn't sure whether the words would be correct on them. But this will probably do me for years. Like there's, there's some in black and white. And then there's the white with the black. Yeah. So those are good. I could probably do some making right away quickly with them. Except that I have a hundred other things to do. Come on. Well, I'll leave that till I'm done. Here we've got a pack of butterflies, and I think we've all had these butterflies from AliExpress. They're also great. Some of them look very realistic and others, like this one looks fairly realistic, but then others are just whimsical, which is fine. That's fine. Then we've got these. This was one of the things I really wanted. These are stickers, I believe, but these are like the uh, Dick and Jane books, like the old book images. Aren't those cool? So this was one of the things I definitely wanted from... I should alter a Dick and Jane. I should do a Dick and Jane um, journal with the cover of a Dick and Jane book. Oh, and this would... Yeah, these are cool. Discover yourself. So just all those old images. Vintage Lady, it's called. And it says to telegram. So if you're looking for it, that's kind of what it looks like there. And then, I'm getting worried because I don't see the thing I was wanted in the book. We've got these perns. And there's... A lot of them in here I don't want to pull them all out but these are awesome I thought I ordered some greenery but when I went to look I couldn't find any so these are awesome these would be nice in those um, jars in the back of those jars too is to have some greenery those um, acetate ones that I got please if anybody does see this and has ideas on how to use them please let me know so then we've got this, Dream Seeking Travel Notes. So 
I love this. And then, oh, a whole bunch of vellum. Vellum papers with like globes and things on them. These are gorgeous. Look at that. So these will get used, no problem there. Okay, then we have some lace. I have lots of lace, but just maybe, oh, there it is. Maybe not the nicest lace, which I told myself, I need to go through all my lace and start getting rid of the stuff I know I'm never gonna use. Cause it just, oh my goodness, you get a lot here. Look at this. That's beautiful. And this is another really nice one. I don't know if you can go on and order them by the yard. These definitely aren't cotton, but they're still beautiful. I guess that's the way it goes. This one's a little softer than the last. These are gorgeous. And what a variety. Now there's so many people catering to junk journalers that, you know, before you'd have to really go on a search to find lace. This can get trimmed off, that'll be okay. I love that color. But now there's so many places you can buy just snippets of things from. This is beautiful with the gold interlaced. This is stretch, stretchy. This pink is beautiful. Another nice one, you could weave ribbons through there. I have lots of ribbon too. And then we've got this one with a little bit of gold. This is a cotton one. Beautiful for little trim on things. Another nice one for trim. So I'm gonna have some beautiful lace to work with. I do have lace, I'm not complaining, I, I do. I just need to go through it. And Sometimes like my aunt, when she closed her store, I got so much lace and stuff, and it's more for upholstery, and I probably will never use it, so. And then my grandma used to sew, so I got a lot of my grandma's as well. That's elastic. This is a nice little one. I think I've got some like this. But look at that with the flowers. I don't have it with the flowers, that's for sure. And this is another elastic one. Another one. Here's another cotton one in a pretty little blue. So these can kind of go in a box, maybe not a snippet box, but something for smaller cuts of lace. This is pretty. This is not, oh, this is an elastic one too in the blue. That'd be a nice little trim on a pocket. This has some silver in it. That would be nice in my fairy journal. Look how beautiful that looks. I love the peach. Peach is really coming back again. And then some sheer, and another one to weave a ribbon through. So those are nice. I'm not putting those back in the package because here we've got some little charm squares. A fabric. I don't really need fabric, but um, that's okay. It's all, it's maybe not quite five inches. This one's cool. Oh, it's heavy. Yeah, that's all one piece. That's kind of neat. Oh. Some of these are like drapery samples and upholstery samples. So that's kind of neat. All in more of the green, the natural tones. Then we've got, this is, yeah, it says, 
Bai Bayun stood humbly on the horizon, and the morning light clothed it with magnificent brilliance. The best things don't come alone, they come with everything. This is 1982. I'm not exactly sure what this is. I think it's some kind of like textile fabric type things. Oh, these would be good for layering. Let's take a look here. So this is cool. You've got the pink, or that's white. It's white, It was there was pink underneath it. You've got two sheets of, no, this one has a pink weave to it. And then this one just has the white weave. And it's like paints, puffy paint dropped on it. This one I love. This one I might use on a cover. Here's another piece. These are great for layering. Oh, look at this one. Wow, that's beautiful. And then a, a kind of like a grid. This should be good for um, a stencil. Oh, this one has snow. Oops, there's two here. See, you could layer two up together. This one has snowflakes. There's another grid. These are really cool. Like, where would you find this kind of stuff? And if you did, how much would you have to buy? Like, you'd probably have to buy at least a yard or a meter. This is paper. That is cool. That is, it's like an uh, interfacing with um, textured paper on it. Here's another piece of handmade paper. I like this. These things are really hard to find. I don't know if this comes apart. No, I think it's together. I think it's fused on there. Wouldn't these make nice little pages in your journal just for decoration? These are really cool. That must come off because it's off of this one and this one as well. So I might just have to work at it for a bit. Love that. Bet you these would take ink really well too. Love the peach. I'm really pleased with this box. It cost me, I hate to tell you, but almost $200 Canadian for it. I think it was like 179 or something. But I, I wouldn't know if I didn't buy it, right? Now I might be more inclined, like if this was $20 for this package, I might be more inclined to say, okay, I'll buy it. But yeah, these would be good for layering or they would make excellent little pages in your journal. And there's a lot in this pack here. This is like threads. With interfacing. I want to do that sometime in a video, show you how to just make paper out of, of um, your little threads. That is cool. This one's beautiful. I think anytime I see a color like this, I think of my grandma. And then this is, this is textured paper too. That is so cool. Okay, what should we get next? Let's get this one here. What is this one? I like this bag. Oh, okay. So this is a piece of muslin. It's about eight inches wide. Yep, eight inches wide. Thirteen. So is that twenty-six inches long? So that's good. You you can use that definitely. And I've seen a lot of people stamping on muslin lately. And I haven't because my muslin is on a bolt and it's just a pain to cut little pieces off of it. So what is this one? Remember, keep all these little strings because you can use them. So let's 
just look at this. So what's in here? This one's really wrapped well. Okay. When I first looked at Taperlogy, I thought it was very expensive, to tell the truth. And I thought, you know what? I can find things on AliExpress. But nine times out of ten, I'm disappointed. Or not nine times, maybe seven times or eight, six times out of ten, I'm disappointed. Um, but I, I have, I've liked everything I've had in this package so far. And these are just little stickers to add to your collaging and such. So you can always use those. And we've got another pack here. And... This is packaged up really well as well. So this looks like paper ephemera. Okay, now where do I go? <laughs> so these are these are tickets. Um, they're all different kinds here. I, I remember this now, um, and like this would get torn when you when you enter but these are just great to, to tuck into little pockets in your journal and then the back is full for journaling and then some different papers how can I do this so these are just some different papers that are great for collage I'm just gonna flip through them lots of purple in this box so these are cool. And then we've got some more of these acetate stickers, or, or maybe they're just acetate. We've got a few of those with flowers on. Beautiful. Yeah. These are different. I have to wait, see if the wording is correct. And then these would just be cute little tags to tuck into a pocket, just as they are. Here's a nice flag. And these are cute. These are postcards, but oh no, just papers cut into a neat shape. Again, you know when your journal's starting to get thick and you don't want to add a lot of bulk? These are thin. Tuck them into a pocket and there's lots of space on the back to write on. Here are some vellum pieces. These are cool too. Some more little pieces of paper. Butterflies. You could cut the butterflies out as well. And here are some pages. There's some are vellum, some are paper. This is thicker. These are a bit thicker. These are cute. You know, like this is this is very Tim Holtzy. You could just cut like this and make a tag. I mean, cut this in half almost. Don't cut off the bird's beak. And you could have two tags there. Those are cute. Okay, then we're almost to the bottom here. This is another pack of those um, different textured papers. A wise man becomes a fool and is the easiest fish, the flower language. Because he is so highly, oh, a wise man is a fool and is the easiest fish because he is so highly educated that he cannot see his arrogance. And I think you would cut these out, these strips out. Another piece of paper. Oh, look at this. It's like the flower. I think that's a leaf actually, but it's colored and it's embedded right in the paper. Isn't that gorgeous? 
I have to pick some of my flowers. I, I bought some, my mom gave me some silica gel. She dries flowers and I'm gonna dry some of mine to use in paper. Oh, those are pretty. Yeah, like you get enough of this stuff that you're not scared to use it. Another piece like this, which I love, and another one like that. This is almost like a burlap, but it's not. It's, it's more of a nylon. This has some sparkles in it. You can see them. Oh, this is sparkly too. Or no, it's the one beneath it. Look at that. Oh, wouldn't that be beautiful on a Christmas journal? Oh, this is the rice paper. I have a lot of this rice paper. I absolutely love it. So these are extra little things to throw in your journals. Like I would definitely, a lot of these, I would just fold in half and use them as pages in a journal to add some variety. Here's a piece of tissue paper. Oh, and brown tissue. And gray tissue. This is like a, almost like a parchmenty, waxy type of paper. That's pretty cool. And this is the same. Oh, my desk is getting crowded. And these are heavier papers. Well, not too heavy, actually. Look at that purple. I think I might have to start another faith journal like the last one I did and lost. I, I think it's gone forever. I'm just quickly going through these. I hope you can see them. Oh, look at this. This. Oh. This almost feels or looks like a fabric, like an upholstery fabric. It looks like it's woven, but it's paper. That is cool. And a lot of these textured papers, they're kind of neat actually. Oops. I need to clean off my desk. Awesome. Got two more things, I think. What's this one? are fabric -y paper but again how beautiful as a page in your journal how beautiful lay as a layering element so that's three so I have four of those oh I got two of those We must have four of these two, I think. One, two, three. And then I think we have four of these as well. It's like a damask. Oh, sun came out. And then we've got four of these. Oh, and we've got four of these, or three or four, I don't know. So these are cool. Like, take that, let's grab the purple, and kind of back it with the purple paper and put in a journal and, and leave them loose. This will give it, this will give it um, some stability so it doesn't just flop in your journal, but yeah that'd be beautiful okay oh and then i showed you these didn't i then i want to grab that muslin again because this muslin is part of this this is what sold me on it this these are rub-ons and joanna did johanna i think her name is, did um a piece on the muslin and i thought you know what i'm gonna try that so i think 
I'll just put the muslin, let's just tear off a piece. My fingers don't want to work. So let's just cut a, ooh, my scissors are downstairs. I'm just going to cut a piece this thin. Save these because you never know. You can make a robin's nest with them. Okay, and then I'm going to take, I'm going to cut this little rose out. I just have one sheet, right? She just took it on here. I always think of Rice Krispies when I do this because as a child the Rice Krispie box would often have these little rub-ons for you. See if I rubbed hard enough. There. I should have trimmed it up here. Give you a hint. Probably you all know this anyway. But um, when your scissor won't cut, when your paper scissor won't cut fabric, try doing a snip at the edge here because that part, chances are that part's still sharp. You haven't used it on paper. We tend to use this part of our scissors the most. You wouldn't be able to cut a big strip of fabric, but if you're cutting it to tear, there you go. And there you go. That's what I really wanted from that kit was those rub-ons and the muslin. Isn't that gorgeous? So I'm gonna make a whole bunch of these and then you can just add them. You can add them to uh, front of a tag, to a, a pocket, all different kinds of things in your journals. I might have to try that with some stickers too. Yeah. But anyway, that's it. A huge mess on my desk now. The box is empty. My first order from Taper Logi. I will definitely be buying more from them. I am really impressed with the quality of the products in this box. And I'm really impressed with all these textiles and these like I probably, once I'm back from holidays, I'll probably go on and like see if you can order like greens and just get a variety of greens. Because that's really, I have so much stuff here in big bulk quantities. You don't need that. You just need a little bit of each. Like, like this would do a few journals. It, you know, like I don't need a drawer full. And I have more than a drawer full, I, I hate to say. Anyway. I wish you lots of luck, love, and happiness until we meet again. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.